42. Welcome back to Great Day for this Wednesday. And speaking of great days, yes, indeed, it is a great day to grow. That's why we drag Chuck Rennis in here every Wednesday morning about this time to teach you a little bit about growing things. And that's what we're going to do here today, Chuck, with the weather we've had. Um, hot, 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 humid, sticky. Plants love this weather. They do. You know, the the uh, I go the back way to the greenhouse and I go by the cornfields in the morning. And I think when I come back by them at the end of the day, I think the corn's grown two or three inches. I mean, <laughs> it's freaking amazing. Right. How you know, we had the corn growers in here last week, and then they said might not be 4th of July, but soon thereafter. Um, it's going to be close. Uh, yeah, I, I um, talked to Ray just yesterday, and it's, you know, we had that cool weather early. They got it planted early, but we had quite a bit of cool weather early. So right. it's, it's, it's coming, but it, it might not be right at the 4th, but it's going to be close. But this warmer weather is supposed to spur the growth of Absolutely. various things, yep. including those deals that we were talking about earlier this spring. We talked about the gigantic elephant ears we bought at the garden show yes. uh, this time around. Yes. We planted them per the instructions. And I have some photos oh. of what my elephant ears look like, Chuck. Hey, Chuck, if I would have taken a picture of these a couple of months ago, they would have looked the exact same way. <laughs> what are you doing, Lou? Yeah, there's there's another one there. Huh. I've determined your ground can't grow anything. Uh, and there's a, there's a th but then f there's a little bit of growth there on uh, one that I just put on the back four. Are, are the um, are the bulbs still hard or are they mushy? Have you? I haven't. I haven't probed. Have you they, squeezed your bulbs lately? Uh, yeah, sometimes you got to squeeze your bulbs. That's just how it is. Okay. Um, you got to. Uh, I, I don't know if those haven't. There, there's no reason those haven't come up yet. Yeah, that's just, that's the most that's come up, right? That little yeah. bit right there. And um, yeah, those should have. It, it's funny because I have a I have a really nice elephant here in the greenhouse. I was going to bring today, so I'll bring that. I'll bring that next week and rub but, it in. Okay. Well, I'll just okay. yeah to show you um, how how it's supposed to be. Yeah, but those I don't know, Lou. Those should those should be up by now. I was now. gonna say I got to tell you, even the Des Moines Register is highlighting doing a, a, a mini garden on your porches, which I which I'm attempting to do this year and having great success, which I do a credit to. Uh, uh, the weather and then yeah, also well, all my plants look good too. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jack's fertilizer of course and yep. uh, uh, doing some great watering as you've taught us uh, various times as yep. coming on the program but yep. my things look great yeah. as well in fact yeah. we're talking about replanting my tomato plants it's gotten so it's big. It's gotten so big yeah and I that that was just a patio tomato so it really shouldn't have got huge but uh, but yeah you bring that out and we'll get that all fixed up for you. But so. just things are growing and looking great. Out things there. are growing, yeah. I mean, our, our wave baskets out of the greenhouse. Everything looks good. I mean, it's been a good, you know, this warm weather, and we've had plenty of moisture, and uh, things look good. Things are looking good. No All right, so what else do we have to talk about here this morning? Well, I brought a, uh, this is what we call a mosquito bowl. Mosquito oh. bowl. Well, that's what I want, mosquitoes. It doesn't attract mosquitoes, does it? Well, it's called a mosquito bowl. It's supposed to repel them, but. Oh, uh, it's but repelling. I have to work with them every day. Yes. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Ten or four hours every I day. Four hours a I'll day. I'll tell you, sometimes I look at the clock and it's quarter to ten. I think, man, them people still got to be in here. <laughs> still working. How do they do that all the So morning? this doesn't attract mosquitoes. This repels no, them. No, th this has, um, you know, this is a lemongrass or citronella. There's that's, all kinds that's of. That's what citronella looks like? Um, yeah, there's some citronella in there. Oh. There's some um, um, basil. Um, I'll, I'll just kind of, uh, citronella is, um, this is the citronella. It's used in a lot of uh, mosquito repellents. Right. So and it's, uh, and it the candles is, that you like. Yep, uh, citronella candles. This is lemongrass. Um, if you smell that, just kind of rub your hand in that and give that a smell. Speaking of which, why when I touch my tomato, my, that's, my that's fingers good. stink so bad? Well, because it's a tomato. That's just what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the answer. Because. <laughs> okay, because. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. That, that <laughs> well, sometimes a question they get <laughs> Then you've answered I don't know, them. I, I don't know what to say. You've <laughs> answered them, though. Well, it just sounds like I touch it to water, and then I'm like, oh, my fingers. Remember, yeah. Chuck, what we yeah. always say, if you can't dazzle them with uh, your brilliance, uh, baffle uh, them uh, with uh, your... Uh, well, you yes, I do, and I, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> but uh, so the, then the lemon balm is, is in there. Um, catnip, now there is no catnip in this, but just, just an FYI, catnip really? is uh, 10 times more effective than DEET. No way. Wow. What? Yep. So, Seriously. So um, do like your cat and plant you some catnip and go out there and roll around in it and you should be just fine. Oh, okay. Um, some marigolds. Um, which yeah, is, marigolds, yeah. that's, a, that's a mosquito repellent? Yep. They really? contain pyrethrum, which oh, yeah. is uh, found in many uh, insect, insect repellents. repellents. Yeah. Yep. I had no um, idea. There was one in here. Oh, peppermint. This is peppermint. Oh, um, yeah. 
if this mosquito bowl doesn't work and it does attract the mosquitoes, you can take this and rub it on the bites and it'll make them not itch. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, okay. Boy, you can smell that one too. That one really has a smell to it. Huh. Well, oh, well, I here, I'm gonna can I take a leaf off? Yep. Can you so eat there, that? Here, oh, yeah. smell it. It's smell just it. a... Put put a few oh, of those around. You, the, you can use the that in your uh, you can use mm. that in your hot chocolate and good. things like. Yeah. All, I mean, all these are just herbs and stuff that uh, other than the marigolds and stuff that you can put in stuff and and eat. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, now do you have these in stock? Do, or bowls? Uh, like I have the, I have some. I only have a few of the bowls left, but I have a lot of the pots, which is the same thing. They're just a little bit deeper. So there's quite a few of them out there yet. You know, and I was uh, out Friday. I think I was out. Uh, you guys have a lot of stuff still out there. Yeah, there's still. You know, yeah. we we kind of. You know, we stay. A lot of the greenhouses. Uh, um, you know, Piney Ridge and the greenhouses out there. They they close. Uh, they're closed now for the season. But mm -hmm. we're we're uh, we're busy planting. Uh, we you know we're still there to sell stuff. Somebody and, said if next time I saw you to ask you about fruits, uh, like planting some uh, like blackberries and and raspberries. Is, uh, is it too late for that? They told me to ask you that. Well, I I still have some of them and uh, yeah, you expressed some interest in that and I'll get some of them cut back and brought down to you. There's still some out there and I think Jason took a... Uh, I got a, a grape a, from you. I a, have a blackberry growing and I got a grape and a raspberry from you. And I'm not expecting raspberries or right. grapes this year. But right. Maybe I, I, the, the only thing that makes it too late and I don't think it's too late but you know it's like a lot of stuff. It's, it's getting hot now, so it, it, you can't just plant it and forget it. You know, if you take care of it, it it's not too late. Are you going to plant grapes and raspberries and get a giant crop this year? No, mm -hmm. but you can still get them started. Okay. Um, one of uh, one of my greenhouses out there, I rent to uh, Red Dog Vineyards, which produces grape plants for wine, and oh. he, he he produces tens of thousands of them. Okay. And they're just now shipping them. So oh. So the, you know, this is a prime time to plant those. So. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming just grapes and raspberries would be the same. Just get them in the, the ground. So okay. just get them in the ground. But keep, keep them moist. Yep. We have been talking about bugs here a lot lately because it is hot and wet yeah. outside. So mosquitoes, they're Mos flourishing right now. But that's a nice natural that, way. That's of just a nice natural way. And you a beautiful know, you, way as well. Yeah, yeah, and it's pretty. Set it on your, uh, set it on your table, out on your deck or what have you. And and. Uh, Did you have a couple and, of those all ready to get ready to? Yeah, go? there's a bunch of those. Like I say, there's some of those ready to go. Um, the low bowls were short on getting about out of, but there's some nice bigger, bigger pots. Right. About how how much would that run you? That's 25 bucks. Okay. There you go. Yeah, and tell everybody how to yeah. get over to your place. Yeah, we are, uh, and, and again, now we're just running the one in Johnston, and we're just uh, we're just west of Camp Dodge and east of the Walmart out there in uh, in Grimes. And the roads out. are wide open. War roads are wide open. No uh, no issues there for a while. So we'll see what happens there. That sounds yep. great. Yep. Thanks as Come always. Yes. Great job. It is nine minutes before seven o'clock. Totally serious news coming up next.